Hi everyone, welcome to Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute cow with a no-sew body. For this tutorial, you're going to need plush yarn in four different colours. For the main colour of the body, feet and arms and the patches, snout and the horns. Now I've chosen to go for grey colour because it's easier to see the stitches on the camera. However, for this colour combination, black suits better. So if you wish to use black, by all means do. In addition to this, you're going to need some black yarn for the little details, 14mm security eyes, 5mm crochet hook, pair of scissors, stitch marker, darning needle and some fibre fill. So make sure you've got all of those components. Now before we start, if you enjoy watching my tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. We're going to start off with our grey colour by working a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. This is an alternative to magic ring. So if you wish to work a magic ring, then by all means, start round one in magic ring. For this method here, you're going to chain two. Skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's the fifth single crochet and number six. Once you have your six single crochets in a row, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And this should bring your stitches nice and close together. Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round to start round two. Pull up a loop from there, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. That's your first single crochet of round two. Going back into that same stitch to pull up a loop and work second single crochet. Now I've worked two single crochets in the same stitch, which is called an increase. I'm going to be working an increase in every one of these stitches all the way around. So you'll have six increases all together. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth and final increase number six. Now to start the next round, you're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. And from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. And we're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 12 single crochets in a row. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. Let's take our stitch marker off and finish off with this um, colour by working a slip stitch in our next stitch, like this. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Now from here, we're going to grab our next colour, which is the main colour of the body. Slip your hook in any of these stitches on the top. Pull this yarn through the stitch and give it a little knot in place. Now from here you're going to start off by working a pull up a loop and working a chain one back in that same stitch to work your first single crochet. There we go, that's your first stitch of this round. We're going to follow this single crochet on with another single crochet. Once you have your two single crochets in a row, we will follow that on with a decrease. When we're working a decrease, we're reducing the number of stitches. So pull up a loop from the next stitch and from the stitch after that, you will have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of these loops in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease. We're going to work this round together because we only have two more uh, we have to repeat that combination two more times. So move this tail end out of the way and continue working. Two single crochets. Followed on with a decrease for the last time. And once you've done that, your stitch count should be nine. We're now going to start the next round by slipping a hook in the first white stitch of this round and work a single crochet there. I'm going to start using a stitch marker from here on 
to identify my rounds again. Let's turn this the right way around by turning it this way and stuffing all of these tail ends inside. Now we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round you're going to need nine single crochets in a row. Once you've done that you're going to follow the same method five more times to have six rounds of single crochets all together. So go ahead work six rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of six rounds of single crochet this is what the arm should look like. We are now going to Stuff this arm up with some fibre fill. So put the stuffing in and we're going to push it all the way down. And this is the part that we want to stuff well, but the rest we can just leave it empty. And once you've done that, let's take the stitch marker out and we're going to work our final round to close the top off. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to go through the stitch after that as well. So if I pull these apart, you will notice that I've gone through the front and the back of these stitches. Pull up a loop and work your first single crochet here. You're going to work four across the top. So slip your hook in the next stitch and the next stitch at the back as well. Here's my second, third single crochet and the final fourth one right here. Once you worked your four single crochets, chain one and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. Pull this out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. And that completes one of the arms. You're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. Now onto the legs and let's start off by working a slip knot, chain two, skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's our six single crochets and let's pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. This should bring your stitches nice and close together. Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round to work our first single crochet of round two. Slip your hook back in that same stitch to work your first increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. We're going to be working six increases in this row, in this round. Here's increase number four, increase number five, and my final increase number six. From here, you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You should have 12 single crochets in a row to finish this round off. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 12. Now we're going to fasten off with this colour as we're changing it over to the main colour of the body. Like this with a slip stitch. Snip your yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Let's grab our main colour for the body and you're going to attach this in any of these stitches on, on the top. So slip your hook in one of the stitches, pull this yarn through, give it a little knot in place, slip your hook back inside, chain one. Now to start this round, you're going to slip your hook back in there to work a single crochet. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around again. This time you're going to again need 12 single crochets in a row. Let's do this one together. When you come across the stitch that you've worked your slip stitch in, you're just going to Move the tail out of the way and continue working your stitches. And 
and there we go once you've had uh, you've worked your 12 single crochets this is what the leg should look like turn it the right way around and from here you're going to catch the first stitch on the white and work your first single crochet of the next round now we're going to continue the same method of working 12 single crochets in a row three more times each time you're going to identify the start of your round with a stitch marker so follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around repeat that method three times all together and then meet me back here after working your three rounds of single crochets your stitch count should still be 12. now we're going to fasten off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch let's go ahead and snip this yarn off Pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure this in place now that completes one of the legs you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these but this time you're going to leave the yarn attached and not work a slip stitch so go ahead follow the same method to work all of these rounds and then meet me back here second leg is now finished as well we're going to now connect these two with a chain one and then start working on the body so let's do that together so chain one grab hold of the second leg i tend to connect it where we've finished the previous leg so in that same stitch slip your hook inside and oh, let's sort this out there we go slip your hook inside pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that's already on your hook and this fastens off this part with a slip stitch almost from here you're going to go back into that same stitch to work your first single crochet and we're going to follow this on with seven more to make the total count to eight so that's one two three four five six seven eight now from here you're going to be working nine increases in a row that's my first increase second increase third increase fourth increase so you'll have four increases on the first leg then we're going to work the next increase in the chain one that we did so slip your hook in that chain one stitch here in the middle and work your increase that's your fifth increase and now you're going to work four more increases on this second leg sixth increase seventh eighth and my final increase is ninth one here from here you're going to have eight single crochets left on this leg so we're going to work eight single crochets in those stitches so that's one two three four five six seven and eight now this brings us back to that chain one stitch we've already worked on this from this side but now we're going to turn it upside down like this and work from the base as well and in this last stitch we're going to be working an increase that's one going back into that same stitch to work another two so that's my increase right there this should bring your stitch count to 30, uh, 36 so from here you're going to start the next round by working five single crochets in a row one let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place so we know where we are starting from now on here's number two three four five once you have your five single crochets you're going to follow that on with an increase so two single crochets in that same stitch and here's your repeat for this round five single crochets followed on with an increase and you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get to this point so go ahead and work that and meet me back here 
at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42. We're now going to start the next round by working 14 single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and here's my fourteenth one. Once you have your fourteen single crochets in a row, we're going to grab the same colour as the feet. Let's move the tail end out of the way. And we're going to pull this through the next stitch because the next three stitches are going to be worked in this colour. So slip your hook in the next stitch like this. Loop this onto your hook and pull this through as a loop. From here, I'm going to grab the tail ends and give them a little knot in place. I always tend to give it a double knot because it makes it nice and secure and there we go now pull the gray one down leave the white one out of the way and the next three stitches are going to be in gray that's one two and three once you have your three single crochets in gray move this out of the way now and bring the white one in the front and we're going to work the rest of the round with this color so slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop with the white this time. That's one, two, and just like this, you're going to continue working with the white colour and work 25 single crochets in a row. This will bring you right to this point. So go ahead and work there and meet me back here. After working your 25 single crochets in a row, your stitch count should still be 42. Now this time we will work 13 single crochets in a row. One. Two, let's put the stitch marker back in place. Three, four, five, and once you get to your thirteenth stitch. You're going to move this tail end out of the way, grab hold of the grey that was there, so it should be really nice and close to it. And we're going to now slip our hook in the next stitch and pull up a loop with the grey one this time. And the next five stitches are going to be worked in grey. There's one, two, three, four, and five move this gray one out of the way and grab the cream one now and we're going to finish off this round with 24 single crochets in a row all of them done in the cream color so slip your hook in the next stitch and pull the this cream yarn in through here now when you do this, just to show you, if you keep this too tight, this will start bulging out. So we need to make sure we keep our tension nice and loose through here. You can slip your finger in here just to uh, pull on this while you pull the loop. So this stays loose. So that's how we want it. And otherwise your stitches will start gathering up. So once you've done that, follow the single crochet on with the next single crochet and continue working 24 in a row go ahead and work that and meet me back here after working 24 single crochets your stitch count is still 42 let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's put the stitch marker back in place now we're going to repeat the previous round again so 13 single crochets in cream Is ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. 
Once you have your 13 single crochets in a row, move the white strand out of the way, grab your grey one and you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and pull up with the grey one. Again, just the same as we did with the white one earlier. We don't we want to make sure that we don't pull this too much. So keep it soft, keep your tension soft. If it gets pulled too much, just pull it out so it just doesn't make the stitches gather up. And from here, we work the next five stitches with the grey colour. So that's my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So one, two, three, four, five. Now move the grey one out of the way and grab the, this cream one again. Slip your hook in the next stitch. Pull this loop in. As you may have noticed, I have put my finger there so it doesn't get pulled too much. Let's release the tension if it got pulled too tight. That's one stitch in the cream. Two. And just like this, go ahead and finish this round with 24 single crochets. And meet me back here. After working your 24 single crochets, stitch count should still be 42. Now we're going to repeat that same round one more time. So you're going to have 13 single crochets in a row and then you're going to work 5 single crochets in grey and finish this round off with 24 single crochets in cream again. So this time, follow the same method by making sure you don't pull on the strands too tight. Go ahead and work this round and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, stitch count is still 42. Let's start the next round with 15 single crochets in a row. Here's the first stitch mark back in place. Second. 13. 14. And here's my 15th. Now we are going to work three single crochets in grey. So move your cream strand out of the way, grab hold of the grey one, slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop with the grey one this time, making sure it doesn't get um, too tight. That's one grey, second grey, and the third one here. Now, move the grey one out of the way, but this time you're going to be giving them a little knot in, a pla in place in a minute. So move it out of the way and start working your stitches in um, cream colour. So pull up a loop using the cream yarn like this. Work one stitch there. I can now go ahead and snip this grey yarn off. And we are going to tie these two in place before we continue any more rounds or any more stitches so soft softly still we don't want to pull on any of the threads so i've tied a knot there and that's now secure so we're going to continue working with this cream color and we're going to be working 24 single crochets in a row all the way to the end in cream now so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round, stitch count is still 42. Let's start the next round by working five single crochets in a row. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Follow this on with a decrease. When we're working decreases, we are reducing the number of stitches. So to do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 36. Let's start the next round by working 20 single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second stitch marker back in place. Third. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Once you have your twenty single crochets in a row, you're going to grab the grey colour again because we're going to work on the second belly patch here. So move this strand out of the way and pull the grey one in this time. So slip your hook in the stitch first and then pull this one through the stitch. 
hold on to it for a second while you grab these two tail ends and give them a little knot in place. And move the tail out of the way. Okay, three single crochets in grey this time. One, two, and three. Move the grey one out of the way now and grab the cream colour and continue working the rest of your stitches in cream colour. So that's one. So go ahead, work cream stitches all the way to the end and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is still 36. Let's start the next round. And in this one, we are again going to be working um, on this belly patch. So you're going to work 19 single crochets in a row, three single crochets in grey, and then finish this round off with cream colour with 14 single crochets. That's 19 in cream, three in grey, and 14 in cream again. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is still 36. We're now going to continue working on that belly patch. So we're going to start off by working 19 single crochets. Eighteen, nineteen. Now I've got my nineteen single crochets. Move the grey, a cream colour, out of the way. Grab the grey and slip your hook in the next stitch. Pull up a loop with the grey and work three single crochets in this colour. Now that's one, two, and three. Move that out of the way. Grab the cream colour again and continue working your stitches and you're going to work 14 single crochets in cream now go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count is still 36 let's start the next round by working four single crochets in a row so there's one two three four one two three four stitch marker back in place follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Here's your combination for this round. We are going to work four single crochets followed on with a decrease two more times. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four, followed on with a decrease. That's the second time and the final time, one more time here. One two, three, four, followed on with another decrease. Once you've repeated that combination three times all together, you're going to work your first two stitches in this colour. So we're continuing with that same combination, but we're going to work a few stitches in, uh, in the grey colour as well. So we're going to say two in cream, one, two, move that out of the way, grab your grey colour, and here's my third single crochet and I'm going to do that in grey and fourth one in grey as well and once I've done that we're going to work the decrease in grey as well so one two three four and a decrease like this now from here move this grey colour out of the way grab the cream Let's work one stitch in this colour first. And now once you've done that, move it upside down, snip this grey colour off, tie a knot with the existing cream yarn. And we're going to continue working our stitches. So the same combination. So we've just worked one single crochet, second, third, fourth followed on with another decrease and same combination one last time one two three four followed on with your final decrease now this brings your stitch count to 30 
We're now going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. So that's one, two, three, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 24. Let's start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now, as we're working our rounds, the gap between the body or the stitches is decreasing. So make sure you stuff this uh, whole body up with fibre fill nice and well and continue filling it up as we are working the next few rounds. So go ahead, finish this round and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is still 24. Let's start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place. And follow these two single crochets on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all, three in one go. And here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 18. Let's start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place and follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row. At the end of this round of single crochets your stitch count should still be 18. Now we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. We're going to be attaching these arms onto the body at this point so make sure you've got those nearby. So let's start by working three single crochets in a row. One two and three stitch marker back in place now from here grab one of the arms and we're going to hold this right next to the top part of the stitches here so the next four stitches we will be working through the arm and the body at the same time but before you do that you need to make sure that the arm and the leg are in line with one another because due to the tension of the stitches, you, it might turn out that yours is a little bit forward or backwards. If that works, if that happens, then you can adjust your number of stitches. So from here, you're going to slip your hook in the corner of this arm like this. And make your hook go through the next stitch on the body as well, like this. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my single crochet right there. Let's move that tail end out of the way and continue working the next three uh, stitches together again. Slip your hook in the next stitch, next stitch on the body, pull up a loop, work your single crochet. Next stitch on the body as well, pull up a loop and there we go. And the final stitch on the arm and the body, pull up a loop from both and work your next stitch here as well. Now that attaches the arm on perfectly onto the body. So from here you're going to work six single crochets in a row. That's one, two, three, four, five and six. Grab the second arm as well and we're going to attach this on by slipping our hook from the corner of the arm and then attaching it to the body like this. That's one, two, three, and final one, number four. Let's move the tail end out of the way and we will work our final stitch with a single crochet here as well. And your stitch count should still be 18. Now just a little word of warning here. Um, so when you're attaching the arms, you may have noticed that one side had where we finished off and the other one was a little bit more curved. Same here as well. Make sure to keep the curved parts in the front and the one with the tail where the tail is coming out at the back. Now this brings your stitch count to 18 again. Let's work our final round of the body 
and for this you're going to work one single crochet in the next stitch stitch marker back in place follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round one single crochet followed on with a decrease repeat that all the way around and make sure to stuff this body up all the way to the top and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count is 12. we are now finished with the body and this is what the complete body looks like for this cow we are going to continue working from here on and start working on the head so this is our round one for the head so we're going to slip our hook in the next stitch and work our first increase in that stitch right there let's put the stitch marker back in place we're going to follow that increase on with an increase in every one of these stitches all the way around go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round of increases your stitch count should be 24 we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row so that's one two three followed on with an increase in the next stitch and here is your repeat for this round three single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count is 30. let's start the next round by working two single crochets in a row stitch marker back in place follow these two single crochets on with an increase and then two single crochets in the next stitch after that so here's your combination for this round two single crochets increase two single crochets two single crochets increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round by working five single crochets in a row that's one two three four five and follow this on with an increase and here's your combination for this round five single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish this round you're going to need 42 single crochets in a row once you've done that you're going to follow the same method five more times to have six rounds of single crochet all together so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of six rounds of single crochet stitch count is still 42 now we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into this head I've already gone ahead and done one and let's do the other one together so the eyes go between round 32 and 33 so counting continuation from here so counting it from the bottom or if you were to check from the top it will be two rounds below so leave two rounds and then in the third one so we are keeping about five stitches one two three four five and insert this into the sixth one to be able to do this you're going to be using the shoulders as your guidance and you need to be having the eyes directly above the shoulders now i need to adjust my eyes so i've moved a one stitch over that means we've got six stitches in between and then this goes into the seventh one let's put the backing on and there we go let's start the next round by working five single crochets in a row that's one two three four and five follow this on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round five single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count is 36 we're now going to start the next round by working four single crochets in a row 
There's three, four, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 30. Now in the next round, we're going to be working three single crochets followed on with a decrease. In the round after that, we're going to be working two single crochets followed on with the decrease. So following the same method, you're going to work the next three rounds following the instructions that I've left on the screen now. So go ahead and work those three rounds and stuff this head up with some fibre fill and then meet me back here. I've now finished working the last three rounds. And now on to the final round, we're going to try to close this gap off between the stitches. And to do this, you're going to be working six decreases first. Uh, so let's do that. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Each time when you do this, you're going to give it a little slight pull so that the gap um, decreases nice and well like this that's two decreases here's my third one fourth fifth And my final decrease number six. I've got the camera in front of me, so it's a little bit difficult to make the cow stand up and do the stitches. But once you've done it, I'm going to show you, you will still have a tiny little gap. Let me move that out of the way. There you go. There's still a tiny gap left between the stitches. So you have two options at this point. You either use your darning needle to stitch that up, or you're going to work one more decrease and then a slip stitch. In the next stitch so I'm going to show you that so work one more decrease like this this decreases the size of the the gap even smaller and once it's nice and small you're going to slip your hook in the opposite stitch where you've just finished pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that's already on your hook now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off Pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Slip your hook from further away. Make it come out from that same stitch where we have just finished. Loop this onto your hook and pull this into the head and leave it inside like that. If it comes out from this side, that's totally fine as well because you can now you can uh, snip it from there. Let's give the head and the body a little squeeze so that it all retains its shape. And there we go, that is the cow's body and the head now complete. Now onto the muzzle and for this let's grab our pink, peach or any colour yarn that you want your muzzle to be. And work a slip knot and chain six. One, two, three, four, five and six. From here you're going to skip your first chain and work an increase in the second chain from your hook. That's one increase in there you'll have three single crochets in a row next and now you should come across your last stitch and in this you're going to work two increases which is four single crochets all in that same stitch so here's my first increase back into that same stitch to work one more increase and there we go, that's my second increase done. This should allow you to turn the corner and start working at the base of these stitches. Now we're going to work three single crochets in a row. That's one, two, and three. Onto your last stitch, you're going to work and increase at the base of that. So two stitches here. Now this should bring your stitch count to 14. Let's slip our hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work an increase there to begin. 
Let's start using our stitch marker to identify the start of our rounds. Follow this on with another increase. So we've started with two increases, three single crochets in a row next. One, two, three, and four increases in a row after that. Second increase, third increase, and my fourth increase. You should have four stitches left now. You're going to work three single crochets and then increase in the last one. So one, two, three, and in the last stitch is going to be an increase. And there we go, this finishes your second round and brings your stitch count to 22. Let's start round three by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. You're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 22 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method one more time. So you have two rounds of just single crochet. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail as we will be using that to sew that onto, sew this muzzle onto the head. So pull this down and this completes the muzzle of this cow. Now onto the ears and for this, let's grab our gray yarn and work a slip knot and chain two. One two skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook that's one two three four five and six once you've got your six single crochets pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round to start round two. We're going to be working one single crochet. Put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to now follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase. And we're going to be repeating that four times all together, three times all together to complete this round. I have one more time left, so let's work on this together. This should bring your stitch count to nine. From here, you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven, eight, and nine. That finishes this round. We're going to now start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. So here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second, follow this on with an increase. And here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat it three times all together. Here's my second time done, one more time. Single crochet, single crochet, and then increase in the last stitch. Let's turn this ear the right way around and continue working on the next few stitches. So from here, start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. 
stitch marker back in place follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around you'll need total of 12 single crochets to finish this round once you've done that you're going to follow the same method three times all together to have three rounds of single crochet go ahead and do that and meet me back here once you finish your three rounds of single crochet stitch count should still be 12 we're now going to work our last round and in this we're going to be working six decreases so to do this pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three let's go ahead and work five more Here's my last decrease of this round and once you've worked your last decrease you're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to fasten off and we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail for sewing pull this out and pull this down to secure it in place now that finishes one of the ears you're going to be pinching at the bottom and sewing it like this so go ahead, follow the same instructions and make another one of these, but in white. So we're going to have different color ears like this. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. Now onto the horns and for this, let's start by working a slip knot with your cream color yarn and chain two. Skip your first chain and work four single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's my first back in that stitch we go to work three more and once you have your four single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and start round two slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work our first single crochet there of round two i'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds and from here you're going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch so two single crochets in that stitch here and let's repeat that combination one more time one single crochet followed on with an increase in the next stitch this brings your stitch count to six from here you're going to work a whole round of just single crochets so we'll have six all together to finish this round so that's one two let's put the stitch marker back in place that's two um three four five and my final one number six once you've worked your one round of single crochets we're going to turn this horn the right way around before we continue working the next few rounds so let's turn it the correct way around there we go and from here you're going to work a decrease in the next stitch so pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that to work a decrease and we're going to work one single crochet followed on with two increases in a row that's my one increase increase number two and in the last stitch here you're going to work one single crochet now this brings your stitch count to seven we're going to from here work two rounds of just single crochets starting with the first one one two three four five six seven one more time one two three four five six and seven once you've worked your two rounds of single crochet work a slip stitch in the next stitch to fasten off slip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull it out of this stitch pull this down to secure it in place now we're going to you're going to notice that this is 
in an angle because of that decrease and the two increases it should be in an angle like this and that's how we want it to be so we're going to stuff this lightly before we stitch this onto the head go ahead and follow the same instructions and make another one of these now onto the assembly and we're going to start off with the muzzle so go ahead and thread this bit of yarn into your darning needle hold this muzzle directly where you would like it don't forget to stuff this up with some fiber fill first i always tend to stuff it slight, uh, lightly initially and then stuff it further if you need to afterwards so i'm going to just stuff as much as i like at the moment turn it the right way around wherever we want it we're going to be positioning the top part in the round below the eyes just here so position it so it's central to the face and once you've done that you're going to hold it in place with your thumb while you stitch it around or you could use some pins to secure this in place as well it's entirely up to you catch one stitch on the head and then one stitch on the muzzle and work your way all the way around just like this catching one stitch at a time I'm almost back to the starting point and when you have a tiny bit left you can stuff the muzzle up a slightly more if you wish to I've gone ahead and done that continue sewing those two components together stitch at a time and once you are back where you started you're going to catch that one stitch for the last time and create a loop with your thread slip your needle through it creating a knot in place repeat the process one more time just on the pink bit this time create a loop slip your needle through tighten to create a knot in place and once you're happy with that you're going to slip that in back in that same stitch make it make your needle go through some fiber fill come out from another side of the head and i'm gonna slip it back inside and make it come out from another side of the head and now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off and there we go the muzzle is now attached to the head if the side got pulled in a little bit too much you can pull this up by using your end of your needle and there we go that's the muzzle of this cow on now onto the ears we're going to grab one of the ears make sure that the stitch that we finished with is on one side let's go ahead and find out where we're going to sew this so the ear, the ears are going to be sewn um around above the eyes so eyes are in this round your ears are going to be sewed just on top like this so while you're doing that you're going to ensure the stitch is on one side slip your needle in the opposite side like this and by doing this it will make the ear pinch from the bottom like so and let's just secure this by going through it one more time and once that's done you're going to find out exactly where you want the ear to be positioned which i said is going to be in the round above the eye which is here so find the side profile and that's where you're going to sew it so you can either use some pins to hold it in place or you can use your uh, thumb to hold it in place while you sew it onto the head so while i hold it with one hand i'm going to sew it by catching one stitch on the head and one stitch on the ear at the base of the ear and just 
um, the two of those rounds are going to be used. So the one where the eye is and one above. We're going to sew the ear in between those two rounds. And once you've gone through it a few times, create a loop, slip your needle into the loop, pull this down. This will create a knot in place. Now, once you've done that, you're going to catch one stitch on just the gray part. Create a loop, slip your needle through the loop, tighten it, and that secures that in place as well. Slip your needle back in that same stitch and make it go through some fiber fill. And come out from another side of the head like this and pull this out. And now I can go ahead and snip this off. There we go. Give it a little squeeze everywhere. And that's one of the ears on. You're going to follow the same instructions and sew the other ear on as well and meet me back here. Ears are now on, let's move on to the horns. So, we're going to grab the horns, find where they turn inward. So, as we work the decrease in the front and increases at the back, the ear, these um, horns should be curved slightly like this. So, we're going to find their position and we're going to be sewing it like so. So, it doesn't go outwards, but it goes inwards like this. Both of them will be sewed on like this. Stuff this up gently with fiber fill. Slip, um, use the darning needle to thread this part in. And let's show you where to position this. So if I show you from the front, you are going to position this about one or two stitches in between the ear and the horn. I'm gonna try to um, position this under the camera. There we go. Now. Holding it in place, you're going to sew the head and the horn together by catching one stitch at a time, remembering to have the curve facing inwards. So from here, once you've done that and kept a finger width or one round in between the head and the horn, you're going to catch one stitch on the head, one stitch on the horn, and just the way we did the muzzle, you're going to work your way all the way around. So here's the position of it. Go ahead and sew both of the horns like this and then meet me back here. Horns are now on as well. Let's move on to the finer details. And for this, go ahead and thread your darning needle with black yarn. We're going to make two little nostrils in diagon um, diagonal on the muzzle. And then let's make the eyelids as well. Starting off with the muzzle. So slip your needle in from further away. Make it come out from where you would like the nostrils to be. So I'm going to position mine on the corner. So if I show you. So slip that in. Leave this long tail out on this side. And we're going to make a diagonal um, nostril like this. So I've made it come out at the base of the first round. And I'm going to pull, uh, slip this needle in diagonally on the top of this first round. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So, needle comes out at the base of the, um, the first round and we're going to slip it in the top of the first round like this. So I'm going to do that right here. Once you slip that in, you're going to guide your needle to go back out towards where you started the whole process from so i'm going to pull this out from here but before i do that i'm going to give everything a little squeeze so it retains its shape and once you're happy with the positioning you're going to tie a knot in between these two strands we're not going to make it too tight so that none of the stitches get pulled and using your darning needle, slip your needle back in that same stitch, make it go through some fiber fill, come out from another side and pull this in. You can always use the same thread to do the eyes as well, but I tend to separate them out just in case a child was to pull one thing out, at least the other, th the other thing will stay intact. 
Now from here, you're going to, I'm going to show you how to do it with a hook. So slip your hook from further away, make it come out from that same stitch, loop that yarn onto your hook and pull it into the head. I can now go ahead and snip this off and pull this in all the way. And there we go. So the nostrils are now on. Let's move on to the eyelids. And for this, go ahead and thread your darning needle with more black yarn. And you're going to do this by slipping your needle in from further away. Make it come out from one stitch away from the eye. Like this. Pull it in so this thread is still there. A long thread is still there. Now we're going to insert this in the front of the eye, but just slightly above the front, like this. Make it go through some fibre fill. Do the same on the other side. So symmetrically, make it come out from the other side of the eye, like this. So when I pull this in, this will form the eyelid for this little cow. There you go. And do the same on the other side. So I'm going to keep one stitch in between and slip my needle back inside. Make it go through some fibre fill and come out from the same stitch where we've just fin uh, started off. If you can't make that happen, pull it out from anywhere closer. I'll show you what to do from here. So squeeze the head, pull this down. So the eyelids are perfectly in place. Pull them just the way you want it. There you are. And now as they haven't come out from the same stitch, you slip that back into that stitch, go through some fibre fill, and then because it's closer, you can guide it to come out from that same stitch. And it won't affect it at all. Now from here, I'm going to take these two strands and give them a little knot in place as well, just the same as we did with the, the nostrils as well. And once you've tied the knot, you're going to slip this into the head, make the needle go through some fibre fill, come out from another side of the head, pull this in and snip this off. We can either use the darning needle for the other one or you can um, use your hook. I'm just going to quickly use the darning needle. And there we go. Snip this one off as well. And give the whole head a little squeeze in all directions so it just retains its shape again. And there we have it. That's the head and the mouth and the face of this cow complete. Last and final detail, and that's the tail. So for the tail, you're going to grab some white yarn, the cream yarn that we've used for the body. And we're going to reattach it right in the middle of the back. Slip your hook around one stitch, isolating just one stitch, directly in the centre of the body. Pull this yarn through. Give it a little knot in place. I always tend to give it double knot, so it's nice and secure. Slip your hook from further away, make it come out from that same stitch and pull this strand in. So loop it onto your hook and pull it in. When it comes out from another side, you can either repeat the process or snip it off. So I'm just going to pull this in all the way and there you go. Now going back around that same stitch, we're going to pull up a loop and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Snip this yarn off, thread it into your darning needle. Or oh, before you do that, you're going to pull this out of this stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. So that last stitch is secure. Now go ahead and thread it into your darning needle and we are going to thread it back towards the body. So we're going to slip it into the, these chain stitches like this. And once you slip that inside, go around that stitch again. So that's really nice and secure. Pull this in. 
make sure it doesn't get pulled too much go around that stitch one more time create a loop and pull this needle through the loop creating a knot in place hold the tail and pull this down now we can slip this back inside the body as well, make it go through some fibre fill, come out from another side of the body. Go ahead and snip that off. And that's the tail. Now to finish off the tail, you are going to either grab some cream colour yarn or grey yarn for the so something that's matching to the cow so either could be the grey part from here, could be the same colour as this or could be the same colour as the horn. And you're going to create some little frilly bits at the end of the tail. So I'm going to be sticking with the grey. So you are going to have to do this with some DK yarn. So it can't be plush yarn because otherwise it will just unravel. Once you grab, um, so grab a couple of strands of uh, um, DK yarn. I'm going to cut them to about 6 inch size. It doesn't have to be that long slip your hook inside the end of the tail like this and yarn over and pull these through now the reason why I've gone for long strands is because we're going to be tying a knot in place so you're going to take the so if you pull it out you will see which ones are attached so you're going to take the opposite strands and tie them into a knot so here we go, we're going to tie this one uh, into a knot and do the same with the other two as well. Let's do it like this. And there we go. Once you've done that, you're going to pull them down all the way and snip them off. Uh, down to desired size that you are after and now we can use a comb to actually um, take these bits out and they will get more frillier from here and there we have it that's the cow now complete let me zoom out slightly for you guys if you enjoyed making this cow with me be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching